charging my phone and my cell phone off of this, but uh, I'm charging it off of these small batteries and also other batteries that are inside of this. This is the uh, WeatherX WR182R, it's $20 on eBay. And the interesting thing is it doesn't come with a, uh, with a charger. And so I decided to put on my own charger. So I put on a little USB charger right here. I'll show you that in action in a little bit after I put it together. Um, all right, well, I'm just gonna go down the list. Okay, so uh, I put internal uh, batteries in parallel with the external batteries. Discharge all batteries uh, first. Okay, so the internal batteries, which are these batteries, which are 300 milliamps, little small thing, which internal batteries is awesome. That's awesome as hell. But um, I bought some nickel metal hydride batteries. Some end of loop. Uh, nickel metal hydride batteries, which are really good high quality. I don't remember how many milliamps they are, but it's like 1,800 or some crap like that. And uh, these batteries normally just hook up to this point right here where the negative black wires are, and then the positive on that also hooks up to the positive, which is where these red wires are connected. So there's just these two spots. Those are the two main spots in this whole thing for the recharge that the crank will recharge the batteries from this point. And so the batteries are, I hooked up all the batteries. Anyways, so you have to put the uh, large batteries in parallel with the small batteries, which means you're gonna end up cutting a wire off of this switch, which is fine. Um, but to do that first, you have to, to do that safely, because if you put them in and these batteries are charged different from these batteries, then there's, somebody's going to try to recharge somebody else, and high current is going to ensue, and something may catch on fire and explode. So the safe way to do that is to discharge all of these big batteries and the small battery pack first, discharge them all the way, then put them together into this thing, and then charge them up with the uh, USB charger. This, okay, okay, all right, so, so yeah, I told you. So uh, if you put this thing together and it catches on fire, it's not my responsibility. I'm warning you about that right now. If you don't know how to do this, then you shouldn't do it. Okay, but if, uh, if this is somebody, if you know a little bit about electronics, then, then you can do this safely. Okay, next thing. Uh, wired the hand crank to charge both the battery packs. Yes, so they are both hooked up here, positive and negative. Both the battery packs are in parallel, so this charges everything off of there. Okay, uh, 3.7 volt lithium polymer recharger can charge three nickel metal hydride cells in series. And that's true. Um, this thing is a lithium ion, lithium polymer uh, battery charger. Here, let's see if we can zoom in a little closer. It has a um, uh, micro USB uh, input in the front and out the back, right here at these two uh, terminals, it goes out to a battery. But the thing is, is that it charges at a maximum 4.2 volt, 4.2 volts, and three um, nickel metal hydride batteries in series with each other will charge also at 4.2 volts. And I've worked with these chargers a lot, and they're very reliable. And so um, I have absolutely no qualms about putting this in with uh, to charge nickel metal hydride batteries in series. This thing would be totally safe with those types of batteries. So basically, I made it so that I can charge this whole system thing with a, a five volt with a, a five volt USB. Uh, especially because this thing did not come with a charger in the first place. It did not come with a charger in the first place. It's really awesome, but it did not come with a charger. So, whatever. I made it so that I can charge it. 
So um, this is something that you guys can do, which I would say is totally and completely safe. But even if uh, something bad does happen, it's not my fault. Okay, so um, yeah, just take uh, the positive and negative on this. Let's see if we can focus. There you go. Uh, I don't know, one of them's be positive and one of them's be negative. I don't remember which one, but you gotta, it's uh, smart to put a capacitor on the back. A uh, big fat capacitor, like a 6.3 volt uh, capacitor, like 100 uh, microfarads. Uh, to smooth out any voltage that's coming off of this thing if uh, you're using this to charge the system. Okay, so the positive and negative come off of this, goes through a big filtering capacitor, and then just the positive and negative would go there, and there's the negative, positive, and negative. So, and then also there's the uh, 5 volt USB output. It takes the 3.7 volts. From, uh, from this system or the 4.2 volt from this system from these batteries and steps it up to 5 volts to make the 5 volt uh, USB output. Now this thing has a generator inside of it and it already, it already does that. It has a port out here in the front which I'll show you in a couple minutes once I put it all together. Um, I'll show you how, uh, how that works. But it's just more, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, convenient to just have the plug right there. So, uh, yes, there's also a positive and negative on this. You see, there's uh, the red and black wire. Red is positive, black is negative. And I don't know, maybe it's marked on the other side where the wires go, but uh, like one is positive. I think this one over here in the pot is the positive because it's on the red side, and this one over here is the negative because it's on the black side. Okay, man, so that positive and negative just once again comes right back over to here, positive and negative. So you hook that up to everything, and then uh, now you can charge things with the 5 volt output. All right, uh, let me see, what else? Uh, 3.7 volt, what? put in a 3 volt to 5 volt USB uh, boot boost circuit that's what the that's what this thing is that i just showed you connected contacts on switch so that nickel metal hydride batteries are always connected to main circuit and crank charger uh when you disconnect these batteries from this switch i don't know there's going to be a wire like somewhere coming from here to go to there or there or something uh you're going to have to disconnect that and then the switch will only work whenever it's switched in one direction I went in and rewired this switch so that it turns uh, my 5 volt USB output on and off. But I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because uh, I would have to take off this PC board again and, and it, the wires are really jam packed back there and then I mess them up. And also there's a solar uh, input, a solar cell input that I put on here so that I can charge this whole flashlight system. Uh, off of a six volt solar cell but um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that either because you have to tie into the regulator that's already on here that works for this thing this thing goes to a regulator which comes out and charges the batteries and runs all the electronics so I hooked up the six volt um, uh, solar cell input to that regulator that is used for this also. But I don't trust that regulator because it doesn't regulate perfectly. And so if you leave your solar cell out uh, charging this thing during the day while it's unattended, then it may catch on fire. The batteries may heat up and catch on fire because it will continually keep charging these batteries. And plus the regulator, I don't trust it. It goes above 4.2 volts, which is bad for nickel metal hydride and bad for pretty much all batteries whatever so I'm not going to show you guys how to do that so sorry nobody's I'm not showing you guys how to do the, the solar thing okay okay tap the connection on switch turn off on and off USB 5 volt output yes just showed you that hooked up solar charger input to regulator yeah I'm not going to show you guys how to do that uh, has three phase generator yes the generator the generator is awesome it's super smooth and you see that it has three wires coming out of it Okay, let's see if we can focus. 
focus. I don't know, I think that's probably as that good of focus as it's gonna get. But there's three wires coming off of it. It's a three-phase generator, which is way more efficient than just a wire uh, than just a uh, motor with uh, two wires. And plus, this is non-contact. There's no um, there's no wires touching a moving object inside here that's uh, going to wear out after you know a couple thousand turns. No, this thing is awesome forever. I love it. So um, three-phase generator, more power, awesomeness. Okay, doesn't come with a charger, so I made my own. Yes, yeah, so I made my own charger, just showed you that. Put capacitor on to smooth any erratic voltage spikes coming from the generator. Yes, okay, so I showed you the big fat capacitor on the bottom of this, and it's smart to put a big fat capacitor on the bottom of this because um, obviously the negative on the capacitor goes to the, the negative uh, wire, and the positive on the capacitor goes to the positive wire. Okay, and also the same thing with this thing. Yeah, let's turn this off. I put a, well, I put a capacitor on there. It's a 6.3 volt, 100 milliamp, or 100 uh, microfarad battery uh, uh, capacitor. This probably isn't 6.3 volts and 100 microfarads, but 6.3, 100 microfarads would be perfect for you to put on there. Okay, so uh, I guess that's about it. I'm going to uh, close this thing up uh, and put it together and I'll show you in a couple minutes what it looks like. Actually, this video is getting long, so I'm going to cut this video short here and then the next part will be, I guess, part two where I have it all together and I'll show you all of its functions and stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.